What's up, himbos, bimbos, and thimbos? Today we have a review of the Windsor Newton watercolor tube sets, but we have Canson Mixed Media for the swatches. I just wanted to say I'm sorry I can't stay on schedule, but I have an art block video coming soon that'll kind of get you to feel where I'm at in my mental space and another video. But this pen I used for three years. <laughs> Not one, three years. That's right, you'll see, because the colors are used to house and are one new balance away to becoming part of the 90s. That's how old this is. Uh, it's been used. Uh, before this, though, I was a watercolor off-brand chalky tube paint artist before I got this and taught myself how to paint actually. Um, so I know my way around the watercolors. I This is not my first rodeo with tube paints, you know what I mean? There's a pan under here this entire time? Anyway, I prefer pans. I think they're easier and more accessible, but that's just my preference. Uh, the one I use right now is the Koi Sakura Travel Set. Love the colors. Super creamy. Super nice. Not sponsored. They're just a very good, very good for their price point. Um, please don't make fun of my palettes. I know I don't clean them. I know they're disgusting. I know they look crusty and cringy and ugh. I know. I know. It bothers me too. I just refuse to do it. All right? Moving on. Today's not about pants. It's about tubes. Only these tubes, though. No other tubes! And now to the reason we're here for this video. The Windsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Tube Tin Travel Set with 12 pieces. Uh, it's definitely not sponsored. I just got these for my birthday one to see if they were good or not. But they got Payne's Gray, Burnt Sienna, and Burnt Umber, so baby! They must be good, you know what I mean? Payne's Gray is my favorite. I love using it. It's so good. It gives up mm, yummy, yummy to your colors. That's why the one in my Koi set is almost gone. Um, but these are the colors, you know, it seems like it's going to be an okay set right now. A uh, little clasp of the hands. Uh, let's go to swatch set. Okay, yummy. Now, the difference between a pan and a tube, pretty simple, but pans, you take your brush, get some water on that puppy. Don't let it be dry. Then you get some of the pigment paint and you just... Tap it, water it, smooth it around, and then you can paint on the paper. It's so nice and easy. I prefer it that way. I don't know if you could tell. You know, and that's just how it is. Not too bad. Easy cleanup. Easy usage. All right? Now, for tubes, they're a little different. Uh, let's just quick get an open and shot ro rolling real quick. Open the box. Open the box. You got open the box. Nice. Very nice. Was that a horrendous song? I hope so. Anywho, the tin looks pretty nice. Pretty similar to the Maiden ones, which was that blue can. Also, tiny little manual for all the other languages with a phonetic alphabet similar to English, and the one that for the big boy characters, like Japanese, and those that are similar to Japanese, in which the characters are a little bigger than, uh, you know, other characters. Normal thing that happens. Moving on, though. Let's open the box. Oh, my God. I, I was so excited. And then, oh, my God, it's horrendous. Um, so let me, let, me just, let me just fix this real quick. All right. Woo! Look at them. Looks so nice and spicy. All right. Now, you may see cadmium free, which means this one was made without cadmium, which means it won't kill me when I use it. Tube, basically, you stab it. Sometimes you don't have to. Put it on there. Grab some water. Mix it. Boom. Or there's pans in there. That's the only difference between tubes and pans. Um, so I hope that gave you a quick little rundown. Anywho, on to the swatches. Let's get these colors laid down, shall we? D'accord, excellent. Now, moving on from the swatches. We gotta... Well, not moving on, actually. Moving, moving into the swatch. Okay, they're a little thick. They're a little thick for watercolors, you know? Normally, if you want watercolors that are thick, I would just tell you to spring for gouache because it's like a watercolor acrylic medium. But they were pretty nice nonetheless. Blended well, you know, water. Moved to water like normal watercolors. Here, you should see the binder uh, separate from the pigment. Don't worry about that. Just mix it in. That happens to every watercolor. Anywho, here I'm just seeing 
how they mix together, how they blend, uh, how they layer, how they pick up, just to see. And they're they're very nice, you know. Um, and now here is our painting that we're gonna do. Uh, here's following me follow on Instagram. Uh, I lay down with just a basic color, little basic wash, and then I try to build it up a little bit. You know what I mean? All in all, these were just. Once you get them out of the tube and lay them across like this for easy access, they're actually just like a pan watercolor. They're actually very easy to use. They're very nice. And this this little dish over here, immaculate. I suggest everyone get one of these. I thought it was overrated, but I got it at the dollar store for like a dollar, and it was it's amazing, bro. Um, I went over with a pen just to give some oomph because that's what I do. Other than that, it was very nice. Like, I recommend these watercolors if you're able to spend a little bit more than what you would want. And here's what the aftermath looks like. Very nice. I think it came out really well. I think the colors dried very nicely and they mixed super well. And don't drink your paint water. For the love of God, do not drink the paint water. Anywho, here's a picture with some lights. And here's a little up close. Let me know what you think. Would you use these? And, uh, you know, have a good one. Himbos, bimbos, thembos.